I know, perfectly appropriate. All right, more important, I would think, is that he was just starting to win support from some evangelical voters, an endorsement from Pat Robertson, a well-received speech at the Value Voters Summit. But how can he be a serious so-called family values candidate when he was squirreling away taxpayer money to cover up an affair? Joining us now is MSNBC political analyst Lawrence O'Donnell, Republican strategist Leslie Sanchez, and the reporter who broke the story, now reverberating through this, uh, is Politico reporter Pat Ben Smith. Thanks very much to all of you. All right, Ben, has the Giuliani campaign, first of all, addressed this? No, they've answered a couple of questions which we didn't quite ask. They've said that, secure, that the security detail was appropriate, which is true. You know, if he was taking his wife and kids to Disneyland, he should have had security. If he was going to visit his mistress in the Hamptons, he should have had security. Um, and they've also talked about, said that the money wasn't, wasn't raided from these agencies, that it was sort of buried in these budget lines, but the, but the agencies were ultimately reimbursed from the police department. But they haven't answered the, the two questions. One is, you know, who actually made the decision to, to put the money on these obscure lines, and they've blamed anonymous bookkeepers. They don't know who. And the other question is when the city comptroller came asking about this in 2002, and in an interview today he said this was a sort of disturbing pattern, and he also said they stonewalled. Um, the aides, Giuliani aides are now saying they have no memory of, of that audit. All right, now look, Leslie, we can get into an accounting de debate here, but I think that more important for voters, in particular evangelical voters, who Giuliani has been spending so much trying, time trying to court, is going to be the notion, not just that he's having an affair, but that he's squirreling away the money in an effort to hide it. Wow, I don't know what political spin is worse, what I've been hearing on the airwaves or what I'm hearing tonight. I mean, let's look at the facts. This is on this the is airwaves. Yeah, well, yeah. Oh, okay, there yeah. you go, thank you. My point being, you can definitely tell it's political season that, that 24 hours prior to debate that this kind of salacious story would come out, you know, Sex in the City and whatever they're trying to sell. The reality is most people have known this, and with respect to evangelical and Christian conservative and social conservative voters. These are folks who've had a lot of time to get comfortable with Giuliani. They, knew they may was, not agree. Right. They may not agree well, with the choice so gun, gun control. They, they, they knew, made decisions about him. They knew he was squirreling away money in these random organizations in an effort to hide his affair. Yeah, one, a couple of different things. There's going to be clarity, you know, assuming in the next couple of days, and who actually made those decisions, very much to Ben's point. But the other thing is you're acting at, as if the mayor had personal knowledge of that. And there's no indication he said everything was disclosed, that this was standard operating procedure. I think people in the media are try and the Democrats are trying to make a big mountain out of something because they recognize that this is a big threat. Well, you know, look, uh, Lawrence, I'll tell you why I'm making a big deal about it, and that is because... Giuliani has, A, run this campaign on his fiscal conservative record in part, and number two, because he's been trying so hard to court evangelical voters, it seems to me this is a reminder that this campaign does not want or need. That's right, Dan. Every voter counts in Republican primaries, and we have a pretty good idea of what Republicans care about. This is the kind of behavior that most Republicans will care about. Sure, there's going to be some Republicans who ignore it. It doesn't matter to them at all. They'll think within the budget of New York City this is a small amount of money. But there is news here. I mean, let's not pretend that we all knew this. What's been discovered here are specific dates that Rudy Giuliani was conducting the affair that would eventually break up his marriage. Those specific dates in the mayor's uh, f uh, public calendar have been blank. They've never said I w he was in Southampton for most of those dates. So there's real behavioral news here that we did not previously know about the dissolution of his marriage, about the development of the affair uh, that became his third marriage. And so that's real new biographical information. And, and it's, it's deadly if it gets another few news cycles uh, in, in the Republican he, primaries, he because know. all you have to do in Iowa, all you have to do in Iowa is hurt him by a few thousand votes here or there, and he doesn't come in first in New Hampshire in these states. These are small states, small voter populations. A few thousand votes here and there can kill his cause. No, well, there's a couple of different things. Iowa and New Hampshire, they get a lot of retail politics. I mean, we understand that people, you know, tend to anchor a little bit more earlier on in terms of who they like, and you haven't seen Giuliani at the time one or two in Iowa. So let, let's talk realistically. It's going to snowball after those two states. You have a lot of economic conservatives. And this is a, a time